Hello and welcome back for another Fetch AI price prediction update. And in this video, I'll be diving deep into the technical analysis here on the Fetch AI chart and also give you my next price targets. And before I do so, show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the channel membership. And by first giving you a recap of what has been happening here on the Fetch AI chart. You can see that on the 10th of June, we saw this massive crash in a, in a breakdown move that gave us a low. In a breakdown move that gave us a low at around the $0.1735 mark. And after seeing that low, we started this nice recovery to the upside in a move that has been obeying the ADOTF structures, where we first picked in that first wave, saw a breakdown move in the formation of this wave too, in a move that fully maximized, managed to get into the minimum retracement areas highlighted on the charts using this blue target area that I came up with by connecting the fibs from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, giving me a minimum retracement area between the fib level 0 0.382 and the fib level 0 0.78, which is an area between the 0 0.2232 dollar mark and the 0 0.19 zero five dollar mark and it is within this blue target area that i've been expecting fetch ai to give us the law for this second wave before we can start gearing up in the formation of that wave three and you can see that we saw a breakdown into the target area so a very nice reaction for the past few days we have been gearing up and we are yet to see a break above resistance at around the zero point zero two five four eight dollar mark and the moment we manage to break above that, then we can watch out for a successive retest before we can continue gearing up and continue high, uh, unlocking higher prices in the formation of that wave 3 and giving you minimum target areas for that third wave to the upper side by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave. I get a minimum target area at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the $0.3349 mark and that is the minimum that we can expect Fetch AI to do in the formation of that wave 3. Alternatively, in case we don't see a break above that key area of resistance and maybe we continue seeing this rejection that we are seeing at the moment, there are chances that we might see further breakdown back into this blue target area in a move that we can still term as the formation of this wave 2 where we can expect fetch ai to fully maximize this blue target area and also give us one more leg down in the formation of that wave 2 before we can start gearing up in the formation of that wave 3 in an even more impulsive move to the upper side so that is the alternative scenario that we can expect in case we don't see a break above that key area of resistance with a successful retest and continue gearing up so that is what i'm keeping my eyes on here on the fetch ai chart also taking a look at the indicators on the rsi we are trading at around the 54 mark also taking a look at the macd we have been able to print a bearish cross suggesting further breakdown so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i will be keeping you updated